This is now, by far, the best open source AI image model you can find right now. It's called QN Image from Alibaba, and it's incredibly powerful. It can generate a ton of text and images, and is also extremely good at understanding prompts. So in this video, we're gonna see all the incredible things it can and cannot do. And of course, I'm also going to explain step-by-step step how to install it on your computer so you can run it for free and with unlimited use offline. And I'm also going to show you where to use it online. Let's get started. A couple of weeks ago, I presented two models, one called Hydream E1.1 and the other called Flux Context. These are very good at creating realistic images and are also open source or free models. Well, forget about that because with this new QN image, it's even better. And the good thing is that now we're getting newer and better models in a matter of days instead of weeks or even months. And here we can see some of its official demos. Notice how incredibly good this is at understanding prompts and generating text within images. For example, here's this one that has a cafe that says welcome to win coffee. We see that even if the text has typography like neon made, it also looks perfect. There are no errors at all in the composition of the features. Here's also this one that says imagination unleashed. And if we read the text, there are no typographical errors at all. Here, there's also another example of a man with a cat holding the letter, and as we see, there are also no consistency errors in the text. If we go down here, there are also more clear examples, like this one of a bookstore, where they show the books of the week. Even the book covers look as if they were real. The poster about the author meeting, for example, that says the author meeting on Saturday, also looks perfect. This other example of the girl writing on the blackboard, incredible, everything is perfect. Even this other example that's like an infographic, and it's also without any typography errors. All right, so here, if we go further down, they also show the composition of the model. It also shows how to build prompts. And here they show us what requirements we need for installation. If we go here to the top part, let's see, let's go back up here. Here we have the hugging face part where we're gonna see the installation. We also have an online demo. And here we can also use this new image model for free. Let's use one of these examples. A capybara wearing a dress, a suit, holding an image that says, hello world. A capybara is a chiguiro, as we call it in Colombia. Here we give it, let's see what other options there are for format. So let's make a 16 by nine image, which is a horizontal format. And we click run here. It's supposedly going to take 73 seconds as it says here, as the system estimates. That also depends on the amount of people generating images at the same time on their servers. Well, and here we already have our result. As we can see, the text is perfect. The only thing I don't like is the texture, like plastic-like. But well, I think that's because of the prompt. We also didn't specify that it should be hyper-realistic or cartoon style. So I think that's why we got the result we did. Here they also have another demo called Q in chat. So we click here and I imagine it's directly connected to servers in China. And here we can already see it's using this QEN image model where they show the same example. For example, this one. And here we already have our result from the same example where it said a capybara wearing a suit and holding a sign that said, hello world. In addition to these online methods, of course I'm gonna show you how we can install it locally from our computer. And the good thing is that here, they give us the open code to download it. Well now, the best and most customizable way to use this is using Comfy UI. And how do you install Comfy UI? You can install it directly from Pinocchio. Here, I leave you a link for installation. Anyway, for today's video, I'm going to assume that you already have Comfy UI installed. Well, here I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process. Let's note that the official models they released work with 24 gigabytes of RAM, which is a very high requirement for most people. But I'm also gonna show you some quantized versions that can run with even eight gigabytes of RAM. So first, let's go here to download the models. We click on this hugging face link and let's click on split files and then on diffusion models. Well, now there are two models you can download. 
one that's 40 gigabytes, and this other one that's a more compressed version that's half the size. Well, and I'm going to download this more compressed one since my graphics card doesn't support that much power. We save it here in Comfy UI folder and models, and then in Diffusion Models folder. Besides these Diffusion models, we also need to download them with this text decoder file or text encoder. And this one we also click here. And it goes in Comfy UI, in models, and then in text encoders folder. And then finally, we also need to download this VAE file. This file encodes and decodes the image. So let's click on this one too. And this one goes in the Comfy UI folder in models and then in VAE. This one is much smaller. It's only 242 megabytes. Well, here on the page, they show us the folder structure of how each file should go and where it should go. Now, while we wait for these to download, I can also go open Comfy UI at the same time. The first step we have to do is click on Manager here at the top on that blue button and then click on Update Comfy UI because this QE image model is supported in the latest version. So we click on this button and then we'll get this pop-up message in red saying that it's been updated. And here to make sure it loads well, what we're going to do is close it and restart. Let's go back to the instructions on the QN Comfy UI page. And here we're going to download the workflow to run in Comfy UI. So we right-click on the button and then click save link as. You can download it wherever you want, it doesn't have to be in a specific folder. And then to install it, we can simply take it, drag it and drop it into the interface. And here we can see that all the nodes are built, you don't need to build any of this yourself. So the first step here is to click here on this Load Diffusion Models dropdown. So here I'm going to select QE Win Image FP8. Likewise here in Load Clip, we're going to select the clip or the QE Win 2.5 model that we already downloaded earlier. And then finally, for the VAE, I'm going to select the QE when image VAE. This box established the dimensions of the image we want to make. And then here in batch size is how many images we wanted to generate at once. So now let's leave it like this. Let's just have it generate one image. Let's see here in case sampler. Here it says seed. The seed acts as a starting point for the random number generator that the AI uses during image creation. It's essentially a way to make the random process reproducible. But in this case, we're going to leave it on random. Then we have the steps part. The steps parameter controls how many denoising iterations the AI model will perform to generate your image. So the more steps we have, it would take longer take more time to generate, and the fewer steps it would take less time. Then we have here the CFG part, which is basically how creative we want the guidance to be. So the higher the value, the higher it will generate exactly what the prompt says, while if we lower the CFG, it will be more creative. So it will create almost by itself our image. Then we have here the sampler name part, and when we open this menu, we have all the lists, those are basically the algorithms that this model uses. Many people who use this essay solver set that supposedly has very good results. What else do we have here? Well, the scheduler, the sampler, the denoise, let's leave it as it is. And here we have a note at the bottom that says, if the CFG is at one, it will be faster and more consistent. So it's like a note that the developer leaves us here. And here we have another note that says, increase the shift if you get too many blurry images so here for example if the images are too blurry or don't come out very clear we can increase it here in this part where it says shift with a higher number so it has more detail and eliminate for example this blurriness or if it's too dark or the image is not very good and ready so basically everything we need obviously you can change the prompt here it doesn't have to be this example one but this is a good example because as you can see it has Chinese letters and specifies to have neon signs on a street. I imagine it's like Hong Kong. And here you can see how detailed or concise it goes with the prompt. Once you already have all the prompt description you want to generate, you click run here. And here we already have the image. As you can see, it followed the prompt description very well. Well, another thing I want to mention is that if we go back here to the Comfy UI page for QN image, we have two models, one of 40 gigabytes and the 20 gigabytes one we already downloaded. That's for if you have more powerful graphics cards of 16 gigabytes, for example. 
but fortunately, this user CT96 released some distilled models here on the Hugging Face page, and this means there are models to run on lighter cards or with less power. So, for example here, the comparison one can make is, as we see here, this Q2 model, which is 7GB, this model could run on a card that has 8GB of VRAM. So, that's basically it. If you have a card with less VRAM, whether it's 8GB, we can download this model, depending on the power capacity your graphics cards also have. So here we also see they have these Q4, Q5, and even Q6 models of 16GB. So that would be for a 16GB graphics card. And here we can also see they have the workflow for these cards with less VRAM. Just like in the previous example, you download it, but then here when we download it into Comfy UI, and if it's the first time opening it, we would have to update the missing nodes. In that case, a red window would appear if any node is missing. So to update it, we have two ways to do it. One is by clicking here on Manager at the top, and we click here on Install Missing Custom Nodes. And the other way is by clicking here in Custom Nodes Manager, and we search for the keyword, it would be GGUF, which is for the distilled models. And here, as we can see, it already found the one from user City96, who is the one who uploaded these new ones. Here in my case, we can see it has a clarification. So I'm gonna give it an update to install this latest version and then restart. Well, and then once the nodes are installed, for example, if you downloaded the model for 8 VRAM, it would be the Q2 model. And here in load clip, I could download the same one we already downloaded in the previous example, but if you run out of VRAM memory, here we can also download these text encoders on the City96 Hugging Face page. We can download equivalent to the GGUF model we had downloaded previously, and we can download the Q2 one, which is for 8 VRAM. And ready, this would be all the installation part in case you're running the model with low VRAM. And here I'm gonna generate with this cat prompt that comes by default, and ready. Well, and that's basically all for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, share the video, activate the bell so you get notifications of the new videos I'll be making. And remember that the AI we're living today is just the beginning. The best is yet to come. See you next time. Bye-bye.